Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on Dentistry and all. Today's topic is Ankles Classification and its Modification. It is a very simple chapter, the classification of occlusion. So the most commonly used occlusion is Ankles Classification and its two modifications will be dealt in today's session. So let's see what is Ankles Classification and its Modification. So ankles classification, it's basically three types that is class 1, class 2 and class 3. So we know class 1 is basically a normal occlusion, class 2 is proclined or a um, forwardly placed upper teeth and class 3 is forwardly placed lower teeth or forward mandible. So the mesial buccal cusp will coincide with the buccal groove of lower teeth. So this is upper first molar, lower first molar. So this classification is based on the molar relationship. So the upper first molar, the mesio buccal cusp will coincide with the lower first molar buccal groove. The occlusion is proper, but there will be uh, the line of occlusion will be incorrect. So it may coincide with the buccal groove, but the line of occlusion is incorrect because there will be rotation, malpose, tooth and crowding in anteriors so that is class 1 malocclusion whereas class 2 malocclusion this is little mesially placed that is the mesial buccal cusp is not coinciding with buccal groove it is more mesially placed so it is like distal portion of the distal buccal cusp is somewhat coming to the buccal groove of lower first molar so it has basically three types that is division 1 division 2 and subdivision so this is proclined upper incisor you can see the maxilla is going forward because the maxillary teeth is going forward usually this mesial buccal cusp should be here but this is going forward instead the distal buccal cusp is coming in line with the buccal groove of lower first molar so what is division 1? Division 1 is the basic proclination of upper teeth that is or most of the teeth will be proclined. The division 2 is a little different that is retroclined central incisor and proclined lateral incisor. In division 1 mostly the central incisor will be proclined but in division 2 it is lateral incisor which is in proclined position. But mostly it is a skeletal class 2. So subdivision is one side, either the right or left side, it has class 2 and on the other side there is a normal occlusion, okay, that is subdivision. So class 1, class 2 and class 3, class 2 has division 1, division 2 and division uh, subdivision, division 1 is proclined central, division 2 is proclined lateral, reclined central and subdivision on either left or right side normal occlusion and other side class 2. So in class 3 the change is opposite of class 2 because the upper teeth is coming backside or the lower teeth is coming forwardly placed that is the mesiobuccal cusp is placed distal to the distobuccal cusp of lower tooth that is the mandible is going forward or lower teeth is going forward so this cusp is placed distal to the tooth so it also has three types that is basic class 3 pseudo class 3 and subdivision so this is nothing but the class 3 pseudo class 3 is when the patient going from rest to occlusion he changes the position to class 3 that is a functional placement to a class 3 that is cross bite will be there so he purposefully moves mandible forward to make it a class 3 that is a pseudo class 3 actually it doesn't have class 3 but due to the functional placement he keeps it anteriorly so it becomes pseudo class 3 subdivision is nothing but just like mm, class 2 subdivision one side there will be class 3 and other side that will be normal occlusion so that is the basic uh, angles classification now let's move on to the modification 
So Lacius modifications and Dewey's modifications are commonly asked for the exam. The Lacius modification is very simple, just few names that is neutral occlusion, distal occlusion, and mesial occlusion. Neutral occlusion is nothing but class one, and distal occlusion is nothing but class two, and mesial occlusion is nothing but class three. So how it is occluding? That is a Lacius modification. Dewey's modification is both for class 1 and class 3 it's not for class 2 class 1 it has 5 types and class 3 it has 3 types class 1 the type 1 is crowded maxillary anterior that is class 1 with crowded maxillary anterior type 2 is with proclined maxillary incisors type 3 is anterior crossbite type 4 is posterior crossbite and type 5 is mesial version of molars. So these are the five types of DVS modification, crowding, proclination, anterior and posterior crossbite and mesial version of molars. Whereas in class 3, the type 1 is H to H, type 2 is crowded mandibular teeth and type 3 is crowded maxillary teeth. The maxilla size will be lesser and there will be anterior crossbite. Just a uh, simple uh, topic that is classification and its modification. But it's commonly asked for the university exam that is ankles basic three types all of you know the three types and its modifications so if you have any uh, doubts please put it in the comment box and if any further topics you would like to have classes on mention that also in comment box so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you